three key formulas you have to understand one is your PMT to calculate EMI amount one is PPMT to calculate principal repayments and one is IPMT these are the formulas to calculate interest payment so here I want to know what is the interest income I will get so I will have to use IPMT formula okay now to use IPMT formula what all do we need we need the rate which is at what rate are we giving out loans we need the per I will tell you what it is we will need the N per which is the duration of the loan and we will need PV which is the present value or the disbursement amount so we need to factor in two more functions here for our disbursements loan tenure and rate of interest so this will be percentage per annum and this will be years okay let's say five years loan and let's say 18 percent lending rate okay now i'm going to amortization schedule and now for the last piece per per essentially means that which for which year are you building out the schedule and one more thing you can play around well when you use the per piece that whether it is at the beginning of the year or the end of the year if i am giving out a loan at the beginning of the year i will have interest income and principal repayment from customer for that year as well but if i assume that i am giving loan at the end of the year then i will not have such a principal and interest repayment for that particular year got it let me do one thing five year model i'm just assuming some numbers here right now i'm using ipmt the rate i will take from my assumption sheet and i will freeze the row for per this is something you should pay attention to i will use one but i will freeze out the row column minus this zero and freeze out the row for n per i will go to the assumption sheet and freeze out five per row and lastly for gross disbursement or i will take net disbursement and freeze out the row now you see num errors this is because i am lending in year two this three four six zero so for a loan which i have given in year two i cannot have any income in year one so to just make it more beautiful i will use if error and zero so now this is how it looks like and now to get get how much actually my total income is so for year one this will be my total income and so on and so forth so this is the total income which i am getting from my customer uh, so this formula will be copied now i told you ipmt is for interest and ppmt is for principal the syntax of ppmt is exactly same as ipmt so you can just simply go select all replace ipmt with ppmt and you'll have your principal repayments in place it's just as simple as that